Charlie, we're gonna go to an estate sale and a couple thrift stores and we're gonna miss you. But I think you're gonna be sitting here looking out, enjoying the day, and then we'll go for a W-A-L-K. Hello everybody, I'm Kelly. And I'm Melissa. And we're Earthly Delights. I'm the Earthly. And you're the Delights. I guess so, if you say so. <laughs> Definitely. I'm, there's, you know. Although I'm a Capricorn, I'm an Earth sign, and you're Pisces, which is water. Water, right, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know how delightful I am today. It's been a rough morning. <laughs> Coffee everywhere. Yeah. Coffee spilled. Pack and ship went weird. But, you know, hey, it can only get better from here, right? We're going to step into this estate sale. We saw it on Marketplace. It didn't look great, but at the same time it's close to a goodwill that we like to check out so we thought we'd give come here shot. yeah give it a shot There was hardly anything in there. It was pretty sparse. Um, but we did find a couple of uh, corkscrews right there, or wine openers. We were a little price gouged, I think. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I was price gouging her. She said, make me an offer. I said, I said $2, she said $4. So I don't know, did we pay, did we pay $2 too much for these? Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get to the Goodwill. We bought a pair of army sweatpants, brand new vintage Russell. And then we bought a um, Hawaiian shirt. And a wind chime. And a wind chime to resell. All right. Can you do it? Hello, everybody. We are going out on this rainy day. Usually we do pack and ship and we schedule pickup with USPS. But we had a larger item. It was a wicker foraging backpack and it's quite large. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it would have cost $40. Something like that, yeah. To, yeah, to ship USPS. Uh, I listed it and I made a mistake um, in terms of like how much it would cost. We, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we charged $10 for this huge box. And uh, when we plugged it into eBay and pack and ship, it said 40. And then when we plugged it in for FedEx, it was like, what, 24? Something like that, yeah. it was a lot less. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and drop this off. You know, we ended up having to pay $13 of the shipping because it was, you know, you know it was our mistake, but it's better than paying 40. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's drop it off. <laughs> smells like coffee in here. I wonder why. Maybe yesterday's coffee explosion on the way to Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was a. Um, it was a hard day. It was. Yeah, it was one of those mm. bad days, but. Uh, they happen. Yeah. And um, coffee spills happen, like goes on. Yeah, yeah. It's like you don't need an air freshener. You've got. You've got a coffee. It smells fresh like old coffee all the time. Mm. Yeah, great. I wish we could bring you Smell-O-Vision. Um, so we're dropping off that box, that large box at FedEx. We're also going to Hudson Valley Brewery. It's a local brewery uh, here that we really love. And we bought a case of beer. Yeah. So support bought... your local breweries. Yeah. Local yeah. businesses. Yeah, definitely. All right. Good stuff. It's not all about reselling, right? No. It can be a little bit of um life is more than reselling. Life yeah. What did you say? Life is more than reselling. Yeah. The cans are so 
pretty this time. Look at Ooh. that. I have a very special thing for you. See, Senor Coconut loves his box from Hudson Valley Brewery. And we thought, you know, he was just like destroying it to like eat this stuff. But we actually think he's done it to kind of like... Customize it. Yeah, customize it. He likes to lay his head like right in here or in here. Here we are. We got our uh, so Hudson pretty. Valley. Yeah, I, I know, love the artwork. Like a traditional lager, an IPA, mm -hmm. and then we got this lager oh God, so good. with sushi rice here. and wildflower honey. Mm -hmm. Wow. There we go. And the best part is that Mr. Coconut, Coconut gets a new gets box. A new box. Mr. Coconut, come on, get in your new box. Which box would Coconut prefer? Mr. Co, I'll, un I'll untie this. I'll untie this. Oh, there you I'm go. Check it out. Oh, yep. There you go. Let's take this opportunity to introduce Rose. Well, here's Charlie, of course. Roast him up for the camera. And this is Rose. This is our other dog. Say hi. Hi, other dog. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yay. Hi, Rosie. She's a little bit of a shy girl. <laughs> She's just... So we are so excited. We just sold this book. We bought it in a lot of other Twin Peaks and X-Files memorabilia and DVDs. Someone listed a whole lot of items on Marketplace. They sold it to us for 300 and we made our money back just selling a couple of those items and this alone was one of the items in the lot and it sold for $80. It's a really rare autobiography of uh, Special Agent Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. You know, I looked at comps online and it was, it was going for around 80. We listed it and it's been up for a couple of months so it's taken some time it's taken some time to sell, but you know, we didn't reduce the price at all and we just let it sit. Thank you to the person who bought uh, this fabulous book and we're going to ship it out tomorrow morning.